Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through this absolutely stunning pair of earrings that I made using products from my darling bead box, the November Sky box. I absolutely adored all of the beads from that box. They are all so stunning and I couldn't wait to get in and use them. Um, I had a bit of an issue actually getting in and designing only because of the amount of time that I work and such but I have had these on the plate for a while and I just wanted to get them out to you because I really I didn't want you to have you used up all your beads and not have the chance to make this pair of earrings because even if I did make them myself I love them I absolutely adore these earrings and I can't wait to wear them and hope you like this video to follow and I hope you are all taking care of yourselves. Let's jump straight into the project. So I'm going to jump straight in and start making them. I'm going to list everything that I use in the description box below and I'm going to start with the charms because they are nice and simple and I've done them lots with you before. That's what I've decided to start with, so put on what you, what beads you want to put onto the charm. And you want to bend right at where the bead ends. Bring in either your round nose pliers or your loop makers. Well, so because we're not making a wrapped loop, you want to cut first. So I want to cut with just about a centimetre to spare. And then grab in with your wrap loop, uh, with your loopers, and just pop that up like that. And that makes you a lovely, nice, neat little loop, just like that. And then you can pop that open and pop that on to your piece here. And close that up. And that's the first bit done. I'm going to do very much the same with the rest of my beads. So I'll do my one of my other ones, the more complicated, not even complicated, but with more design on there. So I put a bicone, pink, uh, with the lavender quartz. Um, no, it was an agate, was it? What was it? I can't remember what it was called, but it will be in the description box below. And another bicone. Bend right at the very top, just like that. Leave just about a centimetre, just like that. And then start at the end and bend that all the way. If it does look a little short like that, that's absolutely fine because you can just wiggle it into place just like that. I'm going to go ahead and attach this one just there. Just like that. And now I'll show you what I did with the chain. I measured out, like I like to do, five pieces of chain, so one, two, five links, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm just going to open this up, just like so. it off of there and put it on there just like that close it up and that is all I did for my pieces of chain I did that on these middle five pieces here so I'll do that again with you measure out the chain One, two, three, four, five. 
a black piece on the opening just there open that up take it off of there and put it on to there nice and easy and then close it up nice and simple and I want you to do that with the other charms so whatever design you'd like I'm going to do the other one with you to show you all the other pieces just to show you how they looked so I'm going to pop on here it was just that Bend it over right at the top there. Cut off about a centimetre. Or leave about a centimetre rather. So cut off two about a centimetre. Make that little loop. And then open it up and pop it on. Going to do one half of this earring in the beard, and then you need to do the other half. My next one was like this. So, uh, bicone, one of these check glass bicones. left it at that and bent that over the top leave about a centimetre and then use the looping pliers or your round nose pliers to make that loop open them up and that's going on this bit of chain here the one in the middle this one there like that and I'm going to add to the middle bit of chain because I now need to show you what I did with that so again there's five links so one two three four five going to open it For this middle bit, I did something slightly different. I used this large jump ring. This is about um, six, maybe seven or eight millimeters. Again, it will be in the description box below. And then I'm going to pop on a bico on one side. Then I'm going to pop this feather shaped type bead that we got and this can be a little bit fiddly I'm going to pop this on this side like that and then a bicone on this side just like that and then I'm going to close this up and meet it in there because it doesn't quite go all the way around so I'm going to close it up And that is what I did for that one. Just like that. How beautiful is that looking? And I may as well finish off the rest of the evening with you. It's a very quick project. Very beautiful. I really love this earring. So, I'm going to do the same again. Five links. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Find the opening from this 
find. Open it up. about a centimeter And the final one. I really love these beads, by the way. They're gorgeous. some very quick very very pretty earrings and I'm also going to need a small jump ring a very very small jump ring I'm only going to be using I think this is about two or three millimeter it's very very tiny this is very tiny and I'm just going to use this to attach my stud simply because of the way the loop on my stud is the loop is facing forwards so to make these sit right i just need to pop let's pop this one first i need to pop that one on i need to make sure i pop this on the right way so pop this one on Ooh. pop that on like that Close it up. And you have yourself one stunning earring. And you just need it to copy that entire process for your other earring to make a absolutely stunning pair of earrings, if I do say so myself. I really like these. I really like the colour combination and I really love how they remind me of something I'm not sure I, I can't put my finger on what they remind me of but I really love them they're just so gorgeous I cannot wait to wear them I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you I will see you for more in the future and I hope you are all taking care of yourselves take care now bye bye then <laughs>